guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alana, and in today's video, we are talking with Super Mario, Royal Caribbean's most loyal customer. He lives on the cruise ships, and in this video, we get to learn all about his life living full-time at sea. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for part three coming after this video. Mario, I loved how you've uh, tried the, all the different cruise lines, have a little taste of each, and now you are loyal to Royal. I as well have tried uh, many other cruise lines, I've tasted a bit, and they each have something that they're good at. Everyone has something that sticks out to them. What really makes you loyal to Royal? Sure, and you're right, every cruise line has its own charm, mm -hmm. its own personality, its own characteristics that make it good in some areas, average in some areas. Right. So. Every cruise line is good. There's no such thing as a as a bad cruise line. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a business. That is true. Competition now. Royal, for me, it was basically three big things. Number one, the ships themselves, mm -hmm. where they were coming out with new classes of ships, with innovations. Like, on, for example, I mentioned the Voyager, yeah. which came out in, in late 1999. That ship had the first Royal Promenade. Wow, okay. You know, and when you look at the Royal Promenade, you say, wow, how did they ever do this? Being able to, to have, you know, a length of a football field, you know, with four decks high, completely open, how does that thing doesn't fall down? You know, the engineers must have really come up with creativity to do that. So to me, that was innovation, creativity, innovation. Studio B, ice skating ring. That is incredible. That was incredible. <laughs> you know, uh, then you had little things like rock climbing walls, and you had boleros, and you had uh, uh, Johnny Rockets. And, and the wave, and, and, yeah, surfing. Yeah, the flow rider, yeah. later came the flow rider, and then the iFly, mm -hmm. and, and so they started pushing the envelope mm -hmm. yep. when it came to innovations. So the ships themselves were, for me, the defining characteristic of, of Royal Royal. Uh, the second thing, I found the crew on Royal to be extra professional, friendly, committed, passionate, very, very service oriented, and I just fell in love with the crew. I love that, that is, that is amazing. So Completely. with some of those uh, nuggets of innovation and all of those really fun activities, mm -hmm. does that determine what your favorite class size is with all of those activities, or what is your favorite class size? Because not every class size has all of these super fun attractions. Exactly. So, yeah, so the bigger the ship, the more they could put on. Right. The more innovations and, and, and amenities they could actually put on the ship. So, my favorite class is Freedom Class. Okay. So, which is where we are right now. So, anytime when I plan my future itineraries uh -huh. or future schedule, I always put Freedom Class at the top of the list. Okay. So, if I could sell a Freedom Class from Florida, normally I would do that first. Second one would be Voyager class, which is freedom class, but not on steroids. <laughs> okay. Okay. I like that. That's a funny way yeah, to put it, exactly. for sure. And then, but then I got a sale on the other ships, like the uh, Vision class, mm -hmm. and I got to like the Vision class because again, you had the crew that was really outstanding, and then uh, and you had a different ambience on, mm -hmm. on the Vision classes. And I use normally the Vision class ships to do my longer cruises. Oh, okay. You know, like the, the Panama Canal transits right. and the crossings and all that. Those are some, uh, Transatlantic and Panama Canal are some nice uh, bucket list cruises Correct. for sure. Really, Correct. really fun. So I normally would do, I do two crossings a year. Nice. Okay, one in May, one in, in October to go to Europe, uh -huh. back and forth. And normally it's on a Vision class ship. Normally, uh -huh. not 100%, but normally it is, yeah. That's awesome. Because they're so relaxing, they're so, uh, it just completely, everything slows down mm -hmm. to a crawl. It's not like here where it's non-stop noise and action and music and right. and, and people get it. brings in a different clientele as well because with a transatlantic, so yeah. many sea days and Correct. I understand that you kind of enjoy with your life at sea here is you really do enjoy your sea days, right? right. You don't always get off at port, Correct. I understand. So Correct. with so many sea days in a row, it really is. It's phenomenal. It's just relaxing. I can concentrate on uh, on doing, running my business mm -hmm. and, and it just, I do some reading. I can, you know, very, very relaxing. Perfect. And being out 10 days at sea is like, wow, 
it's like getting lost. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where you're going to end up. You so know? that's how you spend your perfect day at sea. Pretty much. And you're right, the demographics are completely different on mm -hmm. the transatlantics. You get the average age is probably 86.4 years old. I'm, like that. I'm exaggerating. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You get an older crowd, lots of wheelchairs, lots of scooters, and but no uh, no baby carriages, no, yeah. no, no kids. It's hard for your kids to get that much time off of school. Yeah, you don't, so. see, you don't see kids. <laughs> so they're very relaxing. So those are my, fa that's my favorite itinerary, just doing my transatlantic. That's so days. fun. And you only do that twice a year and it's your favorite. Twice a year. Aww. And then I try to squeeze in a Panama Canal crossing, which Royal hasn't offered in many years. And and they offered one last year in November, mm -hmm. and I finally I jumped at it, you know. And the, the reason I like it is because you do a back to back, and it's 16 days each way. Yeah. So you do 16 and 16, 32 days. That's outstanding. You know? Yeah, it makes it easier for when you're living on the ship. It's yeah. it's less bumping around from ship to ship. That's a good chunk of time exactly. for you to really get yourself comfortable. Totally, and the itinerary is fabulous. There, I do get off at, at some of the ports because we're talking about you know, Central America and Mexican Riviera and uh, the Panama Canal itself is just a jewel of engineering. Just to go through the canal, it's just like, wow. You know, it's, a, it's a, an amazing experience to do it. Yeah, I hope yeah. to be able to do that someday as well. Mm -hmm. What about um, some of your favorite memories on the <clears throat> cruise ship? Is that in any of your favorite ports or your favorite sailings? Um, you spent so much time, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Something yeah. sticks out. Well, memories, <laughs> many. <laughs> many, 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 many memories. Uh, I've been fortunate to have sailed pretty much all their ships. I've, I've got to know all their captains mm -hmm. and all their hotel directors. They've got to know me. Right. And, uh, you know, one of the perks that I get that nobody gets. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say it. You've seen it. It's my little office. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People come by and say, how do you get the office? Well, it's a long story, but <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to watch the video to, to, find out, to find out the real truth. So you get little perks like that. Then, then I've had a chance to uh, to uh, mingle with captains and their mm -hmm. families and their you know, children, wives, and everything. And I've done shore excursions with them. Nice, wow. Know, yeah. I've even gone diving with a couple of captains. Oh wow, that's so cool. Yeah. As a matter of fact, one of the memories I have was in. In Belize, one time I was on the Liberty, and the captain there was a really, really good friend of mine, and uh, he was dying to take out the uh, lifeboat, the, the rescue boat, oh, because he's a sailor at heart, you know. And he said, you know, I, I want to take out the rescue boat. Why don't I take you diving? Oh. So he found the excuse to take me diving, <laughs> so he could drive the, the rescue boat. He yeah. wanted to drive it, right? <laughs> so he said, meet me at 10 o'clock in the morning in the in the promenade deck, and we'll. We'll have the uh, the rescue boat ready. So yeah, so we we, we took it down and we, we just drove it for like an hour. Oh my god! And uh, we went. I went diving in you know one of the reefs in Belize, and he had sandwiches and, and soft drinks and and uh, yeah, it was a great day. Wow, that sounds like isn't that amazing? That's so funny. It sounds like the captain just has that itch that to itch. take that out. And yes, just, that's so funny. Yeah, and you know I've been diving in Belize quite a few times and I know exactly where the good places are. Yeah. And uh, one of the, the funny stories, the memories I have is the captain gets on the rescue boat with his shorts and t-shirt, you know, and, and everything. And, and he, he's got all these charts, you know, these navigational charts, you uh -huh. know, so he rolls them up, you know, and then he starts to calculate. <laughs> I said, Captain, you don't need that. I'll, I'll tell you where to go. Yeah. He said, oh, no, 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 no. I am going to decide where, where I, I'm going to go. <laughs> so he calculates the coordinates, you know, latitude, wow. longitude, you know. I said, Captain, you don't need the maps. He said, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I'm going to use the maps, okay? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, so that's, that's so a funny. heck of a memory that I have. Wow. You know, take going on that little rest Zodiac on the Zodiac. Wow. You know, that's so fun. And he had a blast. He drove that thing for, you know, <laughs> he opened it up. And he's, Recently. Oh my gosh. So yeah, then I had a chance to, uh, with another captain, to dive. They do normally, every two months, they do a, like an inspection of the mm -hmm. hull under the ship. Oh, okay. They do some inspection work there. Right. And one of the captains uh, likes to dive. Ah. And he decided, the technical divers were on board, and he decided that he was going to dive with the technical divers. And he asked me to go with him. <laughs> what an invitation. Um, so it was in Coco Cay. 
So the ship drops the anchor, right, uh -huh. outside Coco Cay, and uh, we all go diving under the ship. Wow. The most awesome 28 foot dive I've ever done. Wow. <laughs> it's like diving underneath your house. Underneath the ship, yeah. yeah. Wow. And then you go around and Look at the propellers and look at the yeah. thrusters and the anchor. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was just Did you a, take your GoPro? Yes, I took the camera. <laughs> we took some pictures. I'm hanging onto the propeller and he's taking my picture. I've got to see the, that There's photo. a big barracuda right behind me. You know? Oh my gosh. And then, I mean, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Then, uh, And then we got on the rescue boat again. This is another <laughs> captain. And then we went we went on a far out place uh, on another island near Coco Cay. And we did a real dive over there. Oh wow! So uh, we just had a blast, you know. So that's one of the benefits I get from mm -hmm. being on, on their ships all the time. You get to to rub shoulders with the, with yeah. the officers, and you know. And uh, many times they they invite me to dinner in uh, in a specialty restaurant. Yeah. You know, come on, Mario. Let's go to uh, Izumi or let's go to Chops. You know, we'll have a dinner tonight. I don't know. So these are very, very nice benefits that I get. Yeah, you're treated like family and like you know, royalty. Yeah, like royalty. I there really am. And what you know, my philosophy is: I don't ask for anything. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with what I get, with what they give me, and that's the reason why they they're so nice to me because I don't. I, this guy is here all week and he doesn't ask for anything. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, a Super Mario thumbs up. And so subscribe for more. Hit that red button and if you want to hit the notification bell so you can learn more about cruising and this awesome lifestyle. Thank you so much for joining with us. Until next time. Bye, guys. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. <laughs> well, that does it for part two. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for part three.